Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and today we're going to continue on from a previous video that we've uploaded where we performed a spring clean on a beehive, on, on a commercial beehive. Uh, we've brought all of the uh, dirty equipment back to uh, base and we're now going to scrape out the brood box, clean the floor and the crown board and really make sure that everything's clean and spotless free of disease so that we can reuse it again with some of our other bees and we'll carry on the process of swapping out brood boxes and floors with all of our colonies until they've all had a full rotation through this spring and summer. So we'll get over to the workbench and I'll show you how we clean out the brood box and what tools you're likely to need. So we're here at the bench and it's a really straightforward process for um, removing all of the propolis and the wax from uh, the brood box and the floors and you just need a few simple tools. So here we've got a couple of sets of pliers, a couple of hive tools, uh, a nice sharp one so we can get right down back to the wood, uh, a wallpaper stripper, uh, it's just really useful to help in some of the corners and a decent pair of gloves. So uh, that's really all the equipment that you need. So we'll just take this stack apart and then I'll get in close and we'll show you exactly how to strip out the brood box. So first thing to do is to get our gloves on and to then um, get into the brood box, <coughs> excuse me, get into the brood box and remove the plastic runners across here and across here and that's simply done with the hive tool so just push it in and ease it away from the side of the brood box just nice and gently and normally the pins will come out uh, all by themselves uh, with the runner you can wash these and reuse them if you use washing soda but to be honest they're so cheap that it's best to just replace them so that's what we do so that's one And just take your time and it's a really easy process. So that's the runners gone. The next thing to do is to scrape all the way around and just remove as much of the propolis and wax as you can. And we use the hive tool just on the short end. Uh, we've got a nice edge to that and it comes off really cleanly as you can see. Just gradually work your way around take the top off okay so that's the top done flip it over and do exactly the same with the bottom and that's the bottom done so now we work on the inside So here is the uh, rebate that the runners were sitting on and we need to get in close and just remove all of this propolis. Let's just turn it around so that you can see. Uh, so in here, all the way down, we need to just scrape that out. So I'm going to get stuck into that now. So that's that side done. Okay, so that's both of the rebates now clean. What we'll do is, before we just move on, we'll just scrape all of the propolis and wax that we've just taken off and move that to one side, ready to be disposed of. Okay, so the next part is to just work our way all the way around inside, scraping all four sides. making sure that you get into the corners here and just get all of the propolis out of the corners just one 
runter. Because we clean our brood boxes regularly, they never get terribly dirty, but it's usually around the runners that they uh, are worse, so it's always worth doing it every year. It makes the whole process of inspecting bees that much easier because the frames are not stuck to the runners, they're not gummed up with propolis and wax, and you can get to the bees that much easier. You make less disturbance and the bees are so much more happier because of it. And that is the whole process of scraping out the brood box. So we'll put that to one side and we'll carry on with the floor and then the crime board and then what we're going to do is show you how we scorch them. So I'll just swap this over and then we'll carry on with the floor. Okay so here we've got a floor, it's a solid floor. We've also got an open mesh floor to show you as well, slightly different technique with those. Um, but what we're going to do is just scrape all of the wax and uh, rubbish off the bottom of this floor, um, not forgetting the entrance block, so we'll get cracking with this. It's a lovely warm morning today, so there are a few honeybees and bumblebees around, so we'll try and avoid damaging any of those. So really get into the corners and, and clean it well. On solid floors, sometimes you'll find that the boards leave a small gap in between where they join. And if you run a hive tool along these, you can also get quite a bit of debris out of the, the join prior to scorching it. A bit fiddly, but it's worth doing. Okay. So there we have one floor. Ready for its final scorching. So we'll now switch to the open mesh floor. Okay, so here's an open mesh floor. And the one thing you have to bear in mind with these is that the plastic runners underneath, which would take the removable floor the Varroa screen um, are going to be affected when you scorch them. So just have a, a good check to make sure that they're clean and if they're perfectly clean then there's no need to remove them on, on these floors. Um, so we'll just have a good look at this. It's a fairly clean floor anyway so just needs a, the briefest of scrapes. Okay, so that, uh, that floor is now 
ready to be scorched so we'll pop that on the pile uh, ready for getting the, the gas torch out. And then finally this is the crime board that we had and we're just going to do exactly the same. Um, we're just going to do exactly the same, scrape all of the propolis and wax off and prepare it ready for scorching. Okay, so we're now ready to get the gas torch out and show you how we scorch the various pieces of equipment. Okay, so we're about to start scorching uh, the equipment that we've just cleaned. And before we start, it's vitally important that we talk about safety. Uh, we're dealing with flammable gases and it's just crucial that you follow any instructions that the manufacturers have, have given in using their equipment. We used to use a small uh, gas cylinder head. This simply screws onto uh, a cartridge um, and it's got the on off nozzle at the back here. Um, but as we've progressed we've now moved on to a larger torch and uh, obviously a, a larger propane cylinder. Again, make sure that you check all of the equipment and that you follow any safety instructions that the manufacturers have given. So as you can see I've switched gloves, I've now got some leather gloves rather than the um, rubber plastic coated ones that I was using earlier and also some eye protection. You never know when uh, some hot material might fly up and, and catch you in the eye and yes, you might look a little bit silly, but at least you're going to protect your eyes. And if anything were to happen, um, better to just look a bit of a fool and have something hit the front of your glasses rather than end up in an accident emergency. So take really good care. Um, before you start, make sure that everything's where you need it to be, and then you can crack on and start scorching. So let's, uh, let's do that now. Okay, so we've just done two of the floors and the crime board, so it just remains for us to scorch the brood box. So I'll just get that up onto the, the desk uh, and we'll, uh, we'll crack on with cleaning that. Okay, so that's the brood box scorched. So we've now cleaned all of the equipment um, and these are now ready to be used again with either a nucleus colony or to go out and uh, do a spring clean on another colony. So I hope that's been useful. Uh, if uh, you've enjoyed that video, please like and, and share it amongst uh, your friends. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and finally, I would say Bear in mind all of the safety precautions that you need to take uh, regarding using gas equipment. It's really important that you feel comfortable and confident when you're using scorching equipment and if you're in any doubt at all then seek out uh, another friendly local beekeeper 
uh, who's perhaps already tried it and go along and help them do some of their equipment until you build up enough confidence to do it yourself. So thanks for watching and uh, we hope to catch up with you again soon with some more uh, videos from the Norfolk Honey Company.